We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died, civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice, but I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. 
So reframe Janus. Make Providence think he was the real Shadow Clan. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Littleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Honey, it's me. You called? Yes, I know they're coming for dinner. I have to finish my rounds first. I thought this was supposed to be a quiet Saturday, but there are just so many letters. I got a package for Batty as well. Did you know he was engaged in a lawsuit against Janus, that old Russian guy I talked about? No, there's only me here to cover it. I would love it if someone else could help, even if it was only with that package to Batty. He talks and talks, and I just don't have time for that today. All right. I'll call you when I'm over by the bus. Bye, honey. Do you need some help? You know what, friend? I could indeed use some help. It's very kind of you to ask. People in this neighborhood are just so friendly. That's what I really love about this place. No problem. What do you need? Well, I'm running awfully late today chatty people in this neighborhood, you know? Anyway, I've got this package for James Batty at number 432. Would you be able to deliver it to him? I wouldn't normally just hand over a package like that, but you look very trustworthy. I could do that. House number 432? Yes, big house at the bend in the road. It's undergoing fumigation at the moment, so you can't miss it. Just leave it in the mailbox and ring his doorbell, and he'll come get it. He lives in his shed in the backyard, so it might take a few moments for him to show up. Consider it done. Thank you again. This place is just amazing. Helen gives away muffins, and you're helping deliver packages. What a day!
Yes. Oh, hello there. I'm Charles Blake, chairman of the Homeowners Association. I'm running for a seat in the next election. I don't believe we've met, Mr... I'm not from around here. Ah, uh, I see. Not a registered voter, then. I don't much care for politics. <laughs> I like your honesty. And just between you and me, I don't care about politics either. <laughs> uh, have a nice day. to tell you mm. these are the best muffins I ever had I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today but <laughs> I can't stop eating <laughs> maybe you know him mr. Nolan Cassidy um, can say that I do well he's uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road you know the one that police shut down after the well incident I'm not really from around here senor I don't know anything about that ah, I see well never mind he can wait a little longer I need to squeeze a couple more of these beauties down Hola, senor. Feel free to taste one of our sample muffins. Ellen's muffins are the best in town, and they're free every Saturday. Hmm. <sighs> Isn't someone else supposed to be doing this? And done. If we could increase the staging budget and make the place feel a little bit more, you know, inviting, we could... Well, I don't see why it should come out of my pocket. <sighs> Fine. I, I don't know, maybe I could bring some things from my place. Uh -huh. Not good at all. I know we're around it. I'm gonna hurl. Excuse me, sir, are you a registered voter? I'd love to tell you about a new candidate who might just change your life. Yes, sir, a total game changer here. I'm listening. Wonderful. 
Oh, well, I'm sure you're aware that voting season is upon us again. Um, and if you're anything like me, a recent immigrant to this fine country, the candidates this time around just aren't very, um, savoury. But we have a man here today who's about to change all that. I don't care much for politics. That is exactly why Blake is out ringing doorbells today. He has no stakes in Washington. No connections to the establishment. No allies hidden away in lawless groups that pull the strings around the world. He's just a common man who decided that he wouldn't take it anymore. He's here to clean up, to give you exactly what you want and to make sure the government doesn't stick its nose into everything. Fascinating. How is he going to achieve all that? By imposing restrictions and pushing crippling laws that will bind legislators to their desks for decades. His approach is simple. Give every one of those Washington-based desk jockeys so much work they simply won't have time to enforce the existing laws. And then, while they're busy looking through their fat law books, use his executive powers to undo the existing laws. It's a radical approach, sure, but quite effective. And this Blake character, he's out here now, ringing doorbells? Sure is. Why do you ask? No reason. Have a flyer. Charles Blake III appreciates your support. Ah, you're back. Have you decided to broaden your political horizon? If the realtor doesn't show up, I want you to penetrate the house for sale, Frank. There's still a substantial police presence in the town because of that politician visiting, sir. It could be a problem. Damn it. I need to get into that basement somehow. Did you try calling the realtor? No answer, Mr. Cassidy. I'm sure he's here somewhere, though. He's better be. I'm sick of this. Aren't you the realtor? I've been waiting hours for you. Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right, far end of the road. I hope you've got your presentation in order. I don't want this to be a waste of time, you understand me? Of course, Mr. Cassidy. I've been eyeing this place for some time. I trust we can make a quick execution here. Yes, Mr. Cassidy. What are you waiting for? Unlock the door and start the tour. Oh, hi there. I'm pretty much done here, so I'll get out of your hair. Good luck with the sale. I'm heading out now. Going over to Mrs. West's house. Good luck with the tour. Finally, I've had my eye on this place for quite some time. Let's see what sort of secrets she holds. Your standard garage. Spacious enough for someone to set up a gym or training area. With some added soundproofing, an enterprising individual could use this for many things. Yeah, that's not gonna make me buy this place. Let's move on.
The kitchen, gas stove, vinyl floors, which can be quite slippery when wet. Along with the bathroom, the kitchen is the most dangerous room in the home. I don't know. Got anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar. This is the garden area. Manageable size, well-placed shrubbery, useful for hiding yourself or other things. Tree house, which affords an excellent overview of the adjoining gardens. And look at all those lawn lamps. Good thing it hasn't been raining. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it in here. What else can you show me? This is the downstairs bathroom. Useful when cleaning off after a messy day of work. That's all fine. Is there more to this house, though? This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. Large room with two easy-to-get-to exits. Dark floors hide stains easily. A room with lots of potential. What about storage possibilities? Anything of that nature you could show me? This is the upstairs hallway. It connects all the rooms up here. Add a few closets or a large box in a corner, and the room's practical value becomes apparent. Eh, interesting, I suppose, but not really something that seals the deal for me. Here we have the master bathroom. Shower, toilet, double sinks. Perfect for the busy couple, and large enough to allow for privacy, even when occupied by two people at the same time. Yeah, that's not gonna make me buy this place. Let's move on. Yet another room up here. I suppose you could use it as an office or recreational room of some sort. Maybe a place to store your memorabilia. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it in here. What else can you show me? What the hell? It looks like something violent took place here. Huh. The previous owner seems to have been connected with Janus somehow. The police report mentions they found him here in a pool of blood. The house has been sealed off until a few weeks ago. Death was ruled as a severe allergic reaction. This is ridiculous. What the... What happened in here? Someone bled out here. Looks like a sudden hemorrhaging. Blood pouring from the mouth and nose. Possible vomiting of blood. Distance between the pools indicates the person was conscious at first, but severely shocked. Handprint on the wall corroborates this. The person lost consciousness after 20 to 30 seconds. Probably bled out in a matter of minutes. There's a strong chance this was caused by a severe allergic reaction or a straight poisoning of some sort. That's a very detailed description. Did you read the police report or something? I dabble in forensic investigation. 
among other things. I see. Well, let's get the hell out of here. A spare bedroom, in case you have a lot of house guests. It could also be used as an upstairs office, or a storage space with easy access to the attic above. That's all fine. Is there more to this house, though? The attic. Not too much to say about it. It's small, tends to be prone to a leaky roof, and likely houses various types of molds. What are you talking about? I don't care about some leaky attic. Get down here. You know, it's a nice house, sure. But where's the wow factor? Downstairs, maybe? And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a vault. This, this is very interesting. There's gotta be a switch or something close by, right? Yes, now this is more like it. This I can use. Very nice indeed. All right, let me have a look at this thing. Advanced Kronstadt Matrix Laser Home Security System. <laughs> we used to break these open for training at the Academy. The thing about these systems is, most homeowners are lazy. So, they don't reset the factory settings and enter their own codes. Let's just try the standard admin code just for fun. Well, what do you know? It worked. Looks like Schmidt was a bigger amateur than I imagined. Mm. Frank, go outside and check the garden. I want to know how visible this vault is from the outside. Anything sticking out of the ground, weird sloping things like that. You got it, sir. So you're looking to sell this for, uh, how much was it again? 1.1? Sounds about right. I suppose that's not unreasonable. And his vault unit looks quite versatile. Internal climate control and explosive laser security. All the comforts of home. Yes. Quite interesting. And a nice looking safe in here too. Any idea what the previous owner was using this for? No idea. Maybe a mausoleum. Huh. That's weird. But I think I can come up with some good uses for it. All right. I think I've seen enough. No! No! Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention. Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early just to chat with the birds. Spends more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past him, and I have to tell you, he gets into some pretty personal stuff with those animals. He shared his opinion on Janice. Let's just say it's not exactly overwhelmingly positive. Well, cranky old men don't tend to be very likable. Maybe if you don't get along with the elderly, stay away from a career where you make personal house calls for them.
You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. Not like Janice. I have never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete... ass. All right, I better go. You know, it's like he knows that I know that he's hiding something, and he's enjoying that I can't figure out what it is. I know it sounds crazy, because he looks like any fragile old man, but I think... No, I'm sure he's messing with me. Hmm, huh, no way. Day just keeps getting. Oh man. Yeah, Doc, I know. But this batty guy is driving me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is, he just won't shut up. Always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me. As if I give a rat's ass about their problems. Let the judge sort it out. What do I want? A lawsuit between Janus and a local him resident to might be just what we're looking for. for Batty lives in number 432. Just pick one. All right, Doc, sorry. I'm just stressing out here, okay? Please, do what you can, all right? And I'll talk later. You know the exterminator guy who's working on Batty's house? Same guy who just did Cassidy's, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the green shipping container to store some chemicals. I asked him if it was poisonous, but he assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Get this, he told me that he doesn't kill the bugs, he only sedates them so that he can set them free later. Let me get this straight. He's an exterminator who cares about the lives of insects. What a weirdo. I thought so too, but then he told me this story about his pet cockroach, Pedro. It was genuinely a touching story. His parents were poor and couldn't afford to buy him a dog, but he found this cockroach in his room one day and he took care of it. Pedro lived in a shoebox and he even made a little leash for him so he could take him walking. They did everything together until one day he heard his mother scream from the kitchen where he had left his pet while he went to the bathroom. He rushed to the kitchen where he found Pedro pierced under one of his mom's stilettos. Oh, great. Now I feel bad for all the roaches I've stepped on. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're onto something here, 47. 47? 
I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. What can you tell me? We had a guy poking around the backyard earlier. Claimed he was there to look at the frogs. Yeah, likely story. What'd he look like? I'm pretty sure it was that James Batty guy. You, were, you know, the guy with the lawsuit. <sighs> Pain in the ass. What was he doing? I tagged him trying to peek over the fence. He claimed he wanted to see if the frogs were migrating further into our yard. I sent him on his way. <sighs> All right. It's not even the first time this has happened. Ever since that fool Batty discovered those frogs, we've had all kinds of idiots walking around in there. Now keep an eye out and let me know if you see more people. All right, sure will. Hmm, a recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? Oh, definitely not through here. Get out of my face. Go. Drop off the surveillance tapes on Janus at the house. Cassidy was asking for them earlier. Yeah, headed them to the pile. What a stupid system. Record the surveillance in the attic, bring the tapes over to HQ and review them there. The recorder is perfectly capable of playing the tapes as well. Why not just keep them here? What, and risk the owners mm. of this house suddenly coming home? Cassidy is certainly keeping a it's close watch idea, on James. To keep the tapes safe in I'm willing to bet those surveillance yeah. tapes hold well, interesting information. That damn rickety ladder over there. these kind of assignments. I know what you mean. There's a lot to keep track of. <laughs> Man, I almost wish someone would stop some shit so I can get it out of my head. Oh? Rather 
rather than conservation. They are not representative of what the society was built for. I understand your concern. Rest assured, I will be watching them closely very well. It seems we have a lot to discuss when we meet soon. Agreed. Until then. Excellent. This confirms that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful. The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter, and that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus's house for more clues. So, the other day, I accidentally asked Janus about that urn in the basement. <sighs> Big mistake. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything yet? How long did he talk for? Oh, can't really be sure. I zoned out eventually. It's not as bad as that time I used the gramophone inside the house, though. Man, that tune kicked off some old memories and some long-ass stories. He dragged me down to the basement and showed me all of his memorabilia. You know how it works. Interesting. Maybe you should try to spark some of those old stories, 47. Who knows what secrets Janus might reveal. <laughs> well, I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. Where is that therapist? He should be here already. I swear, if he's down by the creek feeding those ducks again. Hey, any sign of that Lafayette guy yet? <sighs> Never mind. Who are you? Where's Lafayette? He's not well. well hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. Oh, those shoes. You have a very distinct over fashion, face, I guess. my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But more than that, a refined mix of cultures. You look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once. A doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. Another male nurse. <sighs> so, back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. 
47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Okay. Go and check it out. Come on, go. Understood. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go, then. Nothing but a disappointment when I looked at him. What a waste of resources. Project? What project? <laughs> it was all based on one madman's pipe dream. Create an army of super soldiers through genetic manipulation. Somehow, he had managed to impress my superiors, and they had provided him with effectively endless resources to be wasted on foolish ideas and experiments. The project was idiotic. The subjects were erratic, unreliable. Why build an army of reckless super soldiers when a handful of well-placed spies can do so much more for your cause? What became of him? Oh, I don't know. Dead, I assume. In the end, we had his mind wiped. All the boys underwent the same treatment. I didn't follow the subsequent cleanup process, but from what I understand, the doctor and everyone else associated with the project is long gone. I see. Yes, well, enough reminiscing. Are you about done here? Almost done, yes. constant catch up with him. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like James. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. Society annual gathering. 47, that's it. That has to be the event where Janus and the Constant are meeting. That's the last piece of the puzzle found, 47. While we didn't end up with the names or locations of the Providence partners as we had hoped, this at least gives us a clear bead on the Constant. 
We can expect to find him at the annual gathering of the Ark Society in November. It should be enough. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the Constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. The Ark Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted, no names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. Your gift and your curse, what they did to you, 
Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it.